apostles of great millstone who rule well, shall walk to the 144,000. The one-third remnant men, women, and children of the whole from that shall walk. This is the brother Gabar. Y'all is coming back at you with a quick lesson. All right. Well, we're going to edify. All right. I pray this lesson be edifying straight to the point. More judgment, man. <laughs> what more can you say, man? Man, and this one here, this one... <laughs> Man, it, this one here probably tastes the cake right here, man. This is wow. Hey, the Lord is cold, man. Hmm. Okay, the glory high by some y'all shy is not this loving God that you Christians like to portray, man. Okay, he's not a loving God. Yeah, the Bible does say he's merciful and he's loving and long suffering, but he's also a terror, man. He's a power to be feared, man. Okay, hey. You people gonna find out real soon though, man. But let's read this article. I uh got this from the you know the brothers in the uh WhatsApp chat, man. You know. Uh one of the brothers posted this article, okay? And this is uh like in a uh CBS news it says another woman swallowed whole by a python a python snake in Indonesia. Okay? And yet, you got Jake's out here eating these kind of snakes, man. All right, I'm quite sure y'all saw that video of that Jake, you know, you know, barbecuing the, uh, that python snake and then deep frying it and then fucking eating it, man. And yet, you Jake's eat this shit, man. But this is the things that snakes eat, man. People. It can eat rats. It eats all kinds of abominable things. And sometimes, it's going to swallow up a whole person, man. Okay, so you jakes, man, y'all gonna find out, man. Anyway, let's read this article, man. It says a woman was found dead inside the belly of a snake after it swallowed her hole in central Indonesia last week. Police said the second python killing in the province in a month. Second, that's two. Okay, uh, it says, sir, sir, ink. Whatever the woman name is. 30 says has gone missing after she left her house Tuesday morning to buy machine for her like medicine for her sick child. Police said Wednesday prompting relatives to launch a search. Her husband, uh, A. Adesia, whatever this person's name is, age 30, found her slipper slippers and pants on the ground about 5,000 meters from their house at Sit Sitaba Village, South Songo Wesai Pro Province. Shortly after that, he spotted a snake about 10 meters from the path. The snake was still alive. Local police chief, Idul, who, like many Indonesians, had one name told F A F P Village Secret sorry, Village Secretary I gone told A F P that Adis Adin Cell uh, I'm not gonna pronounce that name became suspicious after he noticed the Python very large belly. He called the villagers to help cut open his stomach. Where they found her body. Psh, damn. Whew. Wow, man. The fatal attack comes about a month after a woman was found dead inside the belly of a, 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 a reptile python in another district of South Sudanese. Graphic video published by TMZ appears to show the snake being cut open in a wooden area while more footage posted by the daily mail appears to show the woman's body being carried in a blanket past distressed village man so <laughs> man, there's a lot of judgment going on down there man that's two women okay it says such incidents are considered extremely rare, but several people have been swallowed by pythons in recent years. 
Last year, a resident in Providence killed an 8th meter python, which was found strangling and eating one of the farmers in the village. Damn. <laughs> in 2022, a woman in Indonesia, Jabi Province, was killed and swallowed whole by a python, the BBC reported, citing local media. A 54-year-old woman was found dead in 2018 inside a seven-meter python in southeast Sulamani town. So, psh, it ain't the first time, man. It ain't gonna be the last, man. So, there's a lot of judgment going on, man. And we telling y'all, man. Okay? A lot of judgment is going on. So, psh, Wow. So let's get a, I think I'm going to get about a couple of scriptures, okay? But man, that's, to be swallowed whole by a whole, by a damn seven, eight meter snake, man, that's, that's, <laughs> wow. <laughs> it ain't no words to describe that one, man. That's, that's, that's judgment on, that's judgment for real, man. Wow. Soraka Ecclesiastes chapter 39, verse 28. Let me highlight these right quick. There we go. Soraka Ecclesiastes chapter 39, verse 28. There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. Okay, and the peace of the wrath of Yah Bashim Yahshua. Because Yah Bashim Yahshua put the spirit on the, these piped on snakes to swallow people whole. <clears throat> okay verse 29 fire and hell and famine and death all these were created for vengeance verse 30 the people wild beasts and scorpions serpents okay that's what that python is it's a serpent and a sword punishing the wicked to destruction it is <laughs> verse 31 they shall rejoice in his commandment and they shall be ready upon earth when need is and when their time has come they shall not transgress his words so hey a lot of death and judgment is going out throughout the four corners of the earth man and the glory how about you shy is about to turn it up man okay judgment is about to get ready to turn up okay to be swallowed and it ain't, it ain't just going to be snakes swallowing up people. It's going to be all kinds of animals coming out, man. Bears, tigers, lions, mountain lions, all of that, man. Okay? So, a lot of judgment is going forth, man. So, the glory how about Shin Yao Shai is not playing. Okay? Uh, let me see. Let me get another one. Mm. Let's see. Let me, let me just, let's get this one. Amos 3 and 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city and the Lord and how about Shion Shai have not done it? Yes. The Lord creates both good and evil. Isaiah 45 and 7. Okay, let's get that. Let's highlight it. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord Yahweh, do all these things. So the Lord Yahweh Shai is behind when things like that happen. He's behind that, man. The Lord Yahweh Shai does it. Okay? He did it. Let's go to Deuteronomy 32 and 39. Looks like this scripture is starting to come out more, man. Deuteronomy 32 and verse 39. See now that I, even I, am he and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive, I womb and I heal, neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. So, hey, the Lord put the spirit on that pipe down to swallow up that woman whole, man. She went out to get some medicine for her children and never made it back home, man. That's, hey, <laughs> that's judgment right there, man. Okay? Imagine going out, okay? You walk out the door for the last time and only to never come back, man. Only to be swallowed up by a large pipe gun snake, man. That's, hey, that's judgment, man. Okay? Let's get another one and go and close it out. I ain't intend for this lesson to be long, man. Just going to do this little quick lesson. So, hey, the issues of death belongs to the glory. How about Shmi on Shai? Okay? There's no respect to persons. 
Soraka, Ecclesiastes chapter 11, verse 14. Prosperity and adversity, life and death, poverty and riches come of the glory. How about Shemiah Shai? Point blank, period, man. So there is no respect to person, man. Okay? The Lord can do that. Okay? He can put spirits on animals and creatures to hate. You can be bitten by a spider. You can be bitten by anything. That's a matter of fact. Let's get this one. Yeah, let's get this one. Amos 5 and 19. Yeah. 18 is actually snucky. Let's highlight them. Well unto you that desire the day of the glory. How about Shemiah Shai? To what end is it for you? That day of the glory. Huh? Snucky. The day of the glory. How about Shemiah Shai? is darkness and not light, man. So there's a lot of judgments about to go forth. And a lot of creatures, animals, it tells you in uh, Jeremiah, the 15th chapter, we're going to get it. Okay? So, hey, a lot of judgment is going to be used out here, man. The sword, Esau's coming down with great wrath because he knows he have a short time. The glory, how about Shion Shai is going to use his creations. And, hey, <clears throat> and, hey, Esau eat him to bring forth judgment, man. Okay? Mainly to you two third Israelites, man. Now I don't know if this was an Israelite or not. You know, in Indonesia, man, you know, you got you know, you got some speckled birds that are sprinkled amongst those people, man, but you know, for the time being. Alright. But nevertheless, man, there's a lot of judgment that's going forth, man. Okay. Verse 19. As if a lion it's like, as if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him. You flee from a lion. And then, hey, a bear meet your ass and rip your ass apart. Yeah. Or went into a house and leaned his hand on the wall and his serpent bit him. Or swallowed his ass up. Or her ass up, man. Okay. Verse 20. Shall not the day of the morning how be darkness and not light? Even very dark and no brightness in it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, what scripture I was going to get? Oh, come on, come on. Let me get this one. I'm going to end it here. Let me highlight it. So, hey. A lot of judgment is about to go forth, man. Jeremiah 15, verse 3, straight to the point. And I will appoint over them four kinds, said the Lord in high by Shion Shine. The sword to slay. Esau's going to be using his sword. And he's many swords, basically. Not just the guns. He got many swords that he's going to be using. And Esau's about to use them, man. Quite sure y'all saw that video of the uh of those, uh what you say, Edomite supremacy marching in, uh, I think it was in Tennessee, man. So Esau ready. <laughs> Esau ready to turn up. And he going to turn up on who? On you Jakes. You Israelites, man. You so-called Negroes and Latinos and the Americans. And you speckled birds and I said a scattered monster heathen that look like the heathen, man. He gonna turn up on y'all. All right? So, hey. Get ready. It says the dogs to tear. You're gonna have animals tearing at you. And the fowls of the heavens, the birds, and the beasts of the earth to devour and destroy, man. Yeah. So, hey. A lot of judgment is going to be, a lot of judgment is going down, man. Let's just say it like it is. A lot of judgment is going down. And hey, nobody is exempt. Not even us. That's why we got to, you know, pray to you. How about some y'all shot that we do be exempt, man? All right, Ezekiel 9 and 4. We have that mark of the Hebrew word, the wa, which means an exemption from judgment. Okay? So with that, I'm going to end it here. I pray his lesson was edifying and straight to the point. All praises and glorification goes to you. How about Shmiyon Shai? About Shimra Kakwadash is on to the next one. Shawam, Kwam Yashwara, and a Baba Ball. Shawam.